I want to get a, I need to get a thumbnail photo with you. Uh, here, keep it like that. For, I'm going to get a couple options because we don't really have anything. Just look like, uh, you know, like uh, your inspiration here is like handsome, but also a little devilish, right? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> what up? This is Tom Asta and this is what I'm riding. This is the Santa Cruz 8 inch Cosmic Cat Dot, I guess it's called. It's got a 14.1 inch wheelbase. This board is uh, 8 inches wide. It's 31.5 long. And it's um, a pointy shape. Pointy nose, pointy tail. But it's the same board I've been skating for a while, same shape, and uh, it's, been, it's been working out. I really like it. These trucks are the Thunder Lights, I think. I, I usually skate the titanium lights, but these are just the regular hollow lights, I believe. They're 147s, highs. They got the hollow axle. These ones are actually pretty, pretty shot, pretty grooved up right now, but I don't like switching trucks, so they're gonna, they're gonna have to do for a while. How long have you been skating those trucks? Um, I don't know exactly, but it's, it's, been a, it's been a while. Maybe two sets a year, yeah. Sometimes it can be like one set a year, probably. I really don't switch them that often. I'll sometimes just switch out bushings to keep them fresh or feeling fresh. I usually skate till my crook move always gets kind of crazy, and then it'll start to crack around here. Once I see that crack happen, then it's like, go time. Gotta get rid of them. I think my trucks, like the tightness is pretty, pretty even. The back might be a hair tighter because like tri flips and stuff like that, I don't want it to like squish too much. But I like to say my trucks are like a solid medium. Like I don't know, when people step on my board, they're always like, oh, okay, like this feels pretty good. Like it's like, it's not tight and it's not like loose. It's solid. I don't have to tic tac out of shit. It's just, we're proper. Wheels, these are my Pro Model Richter wheels. They're 52 millimeters, 99 A's. Really been liking this formula. They feel like a smooth ride on rougher ground for me, so I really like the 99 hardness. I've put 101s on before, and I had to switch right back to 99s. I could definitely tell the hardness difference. Um, maybe not at like a smooth skate park, necessarily, or maybe you would, because it might be slippery. But with the 99s, it definitely feels, to me, like a smoother ride on a rougher surface. Wheels, I don't like to switch either, man. I keep my wheels for as long as I can. If they're not flat spotted or too coned out, I'll, I'll run them for a while. Over a month, at least. Maybe two months to a set. As long as they don't flat spot, they're fine by me. I feel like I have to break in wheels more than a lot of things sometimes. If I go straight into like the park with brand new wheels and slide out, I'm probably gonna flat spot them. I don't know why that happens. If that's just me or if that's a thing. But I always feel like I, there's like a break-in period for wheels. And once you get past that initial like day or two, the wheels are gonna last a lot longer, um, at least for me. Bearings, I got the Bronson Ceramics in here right now, which are fire. Really smooth, really fast. Um, I didn't even pop the shields off. Usually I'm a, I'm a shield popper, but these ones are, they don't need it. They're just, they're cruising. Grip tape, just mob, OG mob grip, best there is, can't go wrong. Grippy, I mean, I can't really ask for more. I've skated other grips recently, like, because I didn't have any grip with me, and they're like, I got this sheet, I don't wanna name any brands, but it was not it. Mob is the move, <laughs> to be completely honest. Like, noticeable, dude, I didn't think grip was that big of a deal, but it's actually a big deal, dude. Um, hardware, I think right now I'm running diamond hardware. I think I just have a bunch at the house, not for any particular reason, but it works. It's seven ace hardware, so you don't get much overhang and it fits perfectly. And actually, I like diamond hardware though, because it comes with a different color bolt and I always run that bolt in the same spot. The bottom left, like back, back left bolt, top. This board is really almost symmetrical to me. So sometimes like if, it, if the board's super fresh, it's hard to distinguish like nose and tail. So that always helps me remember. But yeah, it feels good. Now it's just a thing I do every time. And do you, do you run Allen or Phillips? Allen. Allen key all day. I don't think I've skated a Phillips hardware in like, I can't even, forever. It's been a while. I never liked them. I always stripped them and then it was like a pain in the ass to get off. And I just, the Allen keys are so much easier. You can strip Allens too, but it's like, if you're stripping an Allen key, you've been skating that hardware for like 
way too long anyway. So you need to switch it. But the Allen keys always last way longer for me. And that's another thing. Like I don't even remember the last time I switched hardware. This has probably been a year or two. I don't know. Works. How about shoes? Shoes? Uh, right now I'm skating, this is actually the first pair of Swifts that I've skated in a while, the S-Swift 1.5. I just like the red, and I was like, oh shit, I haven't skated red shoes or this pair in a while, I'm gonna pop these on. And they're always good. They have the same sole as like the Excel Pluses, and I usually skate that shoe, so it's not much of a difference in what shoe I'm skating. That's what's cool about S, too. I feel like I can bounce between shoes, and I never have a hard time getting used to anything. I can skate a bunch of different stuff. Um, these ones, I've been skating for maybe two days, three days, but they're feeling pretty good. First flat ground tricks on a new board or just when I'm first starting the day is always like a front shove. I always do front shoves, maybe like a little scoopy, scoopy back shove. I'll do like some Nolly 180s and stuff and then go into kick flips and tray flips and stuff like that. But I always do a bunch of front shoves, switch front shoves maybe too. It's a good one. Get the legs going. Thanks for watching. This is what I'm riding. Hope you like my setup because um, I've been loving this thing. Thanks for checking out this video. Click subscribe to see all the squad. Subscribe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Be a part of this. Subscribe to the Santa Cruz YouTube channel.